Hey, 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 what's going on YouTube? And welcome back to all my cloud scholars out there. My name is Kieran Tross, and I want to thank you once again for watching uh, and staying tuned to these videos that I've been creating. I really love making these videos for you all. Uh, what I'm going to do is continue our Azure PIM deep dive. This is the second video. And today we want to concentrate on what are PIM groups. So uh, one, I'm not going to make this a very long video. I'm going to try to get straight to the point. And then two, uh, I'm not going to PowerPoint you to death. So I'm hoping you're happy to hear about that. So PIM groups are essentially uh, part of the Microsoft Entrepreneur Privilege Identity Management. Um, what you can use with PIM groups is to manage roles in PIM Azure resources. Uh, enables you uh, group uh, users to activate the ownership or membership of a Microsoft Andre security group or a Microsoft 365 group. Groups can be used to govern access to various scenarios that include Microsoft Azure roles, SQL, Key Vault, you name it, you can do with Azure PIM groups. So there are two types of PIM groups. Uh, there's the global admin, uh, there's privileged role administrators or group uh, owner can manage uh, the groups, excuse me, there's role assignable groups and there's non role assignable groups, excuse me on that. Um, I just jumped into reading what role assignable groups. Um, and really what you want to do is for the role assignable groups, you uh, really set that up when you're doing the creation of the uh, group within Microsoft Entra. Um, and then you have the non role assignable groups, which is, you know, your um, different roles that can be managed with these groups. Um, that includes exchange administrator, group administrators, user administrators, and also various roles. Microsoft Entros can manage the credentials of the users who are active members of groups. Now, there are certain groups that you really won't be able to see. Um, so, like, let's just say there are groups that are like specific to like exchange artists, groups that are specific to um, SharePoint. Some of those groups, those groups you won't be able to manage within PIM. Okay, so back over the Azure page, what I want to do is just show you how we go about creating these groups, right, for PIM um, management. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to Microsoft Entre ID, and you could have went to the Entre Admin Center if you wanted to as well, and I'm going to go to Groups, and over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new group. And what our focus is is to create a role assignable group within Microsoft Entre. So I'm going to call this West US SOC Team. And you can call it whatever you want to call it in your environment. Uh, right here it says Microsoft Entre roles can be assigned to this group. So I'm going to click yes. And you see it blocks it out, right? So if I said no, then I would have the dynamic user, dynamic device. I don't get that option anymore when I have a Microsoft Entre um, assigned group. And when it comes to members, I'm just going to create, uh, add a quick member into this group. And I'll just say test. And I'll look for my test user to um, utilize for this. And owners, you can put an owner if you want, or you can put a group right now. So if I wanted to put a group in it, I could, but I'm going to walk you through assigning the group to it. And then I can go ahead and click create. And then right before I click create, it gives you this option, right? Not option, but this message saying creating a group to which Microsoft Entre roles can be assigned in a setting that cannot be changed after. So that's fine because this is what we want to do. This is purposely we made this. So next, what I want to do is I want to go to um, Microsoft Entre. So I'm going to come up here, privilege. Identity, uh, I have it here, Microsoft Entre Privilege Identity Management. And over here, what I want to do is I want to come over here um, down to uh, my groups. And I have this East SOC team group here, but I want to actually have more than that. So I can just say discover groups. And this is something that you can do on your end as well. And you could just do to West because that's what we called it, right? Was it US West? West US SOC team. And then we say manage groups. Are you sure you want to onboard groups to be selected below? I'll click yes. And if I come back to my groups, I can see this group here as well. Now, when we are creating, if we had created it and added the groups there, this would have already been here, right? But we created the group and we didn't add any roles to it. So this is the reason why we have to onboard it. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go to Microsoft Entre Roles. And then within here, I get this window and it's going to give me all this this settings here. Now, one thing I want to point out is normally in my videos, what I've done before in the past is I'll literally go through the settings and the user interface when I'm showing something. Right. So whether it's a storage account or whatever resource I'm using within Azure, I'll go through it. 
I, I feel like that's just a lot to digest and I want to kind of get straight to the point with these videos because they're very purposeful and we're doing a deep dive. So either way, I'm going to go through all of this later on. So I'm not going to go through each one of these in this video, but I just want to show you exactly how we go about doing the assignments and after we create those uh, role assignable groups. So right here, if I click on my roles, um, you don't really see anything there. What I want to do is I want to come here to assignments. So I can see there's eligible assignments and then there's active assignables. Eligible is you're eligible for um, a time frame normally to uh, utilize that role. And then this active is just is something that's permanently done, right? Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say I'm going to add an assignment and I can select a role to add that assignment. So I can do security because this is going to be like my SOC team. And I can just do a security reader role for this one. And when it comes to members, I need to look for that same team, that group. So I'm going to type in West and it's West US SOC. So I'm going to click select and I'm going to click on next. And then here we have that eligible or active. So if I say permanently eligible, then it's going to give me a permanent time frame. But if I take that off, then it's going to give me uh, options of to a time frame. Or if I do active, you'll see it's permanently all the time. So I'm going to say eligible right for now. Let me take this off and then I'll say, you know, it will give it, you know, um, a year, right? That's what it's giving me a, a year time frame. Now you, you're going to have your governance there that you want to give it only a certain time frame, but this is just for uh, the video purposes. And I'm just going to click on assign. Assign in role to member. And then here we have our eligible assignments. Now you have here active assignments. These are the ones that are permanently active and you'll see here end time is permanent and then you have eligible here you have an end time and you have a specific date and you can later on come back here and you can update this so let's just say if i wanted to change this and i wanted to say i don't want this here i want it active and on permanent uh testing and i can click save so now it's no longer within the eligible area and if i go to assignments active assignments and i hit refresh Here we have it shown up here now on the active assignments and now it's under permanent. But I can update this again and then it would come back over here if I want to eligible. And then you have the expired assignments here as well. And that's pretty much how you would go about creating a role assignable group within Microsoft Entra. So, all right, this is a quick interjection here. I was cutting the video um, towards the more towards the end. I did forget to uh, show you all this. So when you're creating any groups within Azure PIM uh, and you're assigning any roles, you're going to get an email coming uh, to your inbox. And that is for all the global admins. So you see here, we created this group. If you remember earlier, West US SOC team. Um, and you can see here, it gives us all the details here. It says, you know, who updated by uh, assignment start. And we have that type, which is eligible. But I also did in the video earlier, I did change it from eligible to active. So this is what it shows here. It says assignment type, which is now active and um, justification. This is the justification here. So this is the great thing about using PIM because you do get notified about that. And I'll talk a little bit more about emails and notifications within PIM in another video. So um, there's much more fun stuff to show you. I'm going to go through uh, users as well and then also go through different settings that you can have in terms of how long you want to have your activation for the roles and you can set that up and configure that within your environment but this is supposed to be a short and sweet video I'm going to try to keep it on the 10 minutes uh just uh this one is just really about creating a role assignable groups and this pim groups in general um this video is really focused on so listen once again my name is kieran tross i want to thank you for watching this video if you haven't done so already please smash that like and subscribe button and then please share this video with a friend um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section or if there's any other type of um, Azure video you're trying to look for, search my YouTube page. I have a ton of videos out there. And if it's something I did not cover as of yet, then send it to me. I will add it to my Trello page where I have a list of different uh, subjects to cover when it comes to Azure. So if you all provide me information, um, it helps me also with creating content. So I do appreciate that. So once again, Kieran Tross uh, here at Cloud Scholars. My goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and of course, consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.